got to get up here. Jeez. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by now that there are no people here. I like exploring with rooftoppers. They're really like daredevils. We are really high up on this really sketchy wood. Look at this. Oh, my god. Yeah! I'm Josh. And I'm Cody. As urban explorers, we travel the world to rediscover locations that have been abandoned and left to decay in time. No, this is it. Oh. We've created a personal bucket list of these forgotten destinations all over the planet. <laughs> Together with urban exploring friends, we'll track them down, capture the beauty of their ruin, and unearth the stories that people have left behind. This is sick. Oh. This is going to be the coolest room here. At the end of our adventures, we'll rank each location based on its history, beauty, purity, and thrill. Which destination will be on the top of our bucket list in the end? Let's go. Epic exploring. What's up, guys? I'm Josh, and today we are in Yerevan, Armenia right now. Today we're going to be exploring some old abandoned Soviet buildings, and one of them is a huge telescope. You guys are going to flip. I feel like I'm in a submarine. But I'm not alone today. I'm with my co-host, Elena Hamikin. She's a daredevil from Denmark. The only problem is she's all the way up these huge stairs, and I'm not looking forward to climb them. This is totally my morning workout. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm in Thessaloniki, Greece right now, and I'm about to go on an incredible adventure, which will take me from this beautiful and lively city to a darker part of the country, where ultimately we'll be exploring an abandoned nitrogen factory. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. But first, I have to meet up with my friend and fellow urban explorer from Estonia, Elvis. What's up? I'm Elvis. I'm 27 years old, and I'm a crazy urban explorer from Estonia. I like to travel and meet new people. Sometimes it brings me to the most amazing places. I also bring a camera with me everywhere I go because I just like to show people the awesome places that I visit. Yo, Elvis! Yo, my man, what's How's up? How's it going, man? I'm doing fine, waiting for you. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. How you been? I've been fine, waiting for you here. I can't wait to go, you know? <laughs> yeah, have you seen the, Have you seen anything about this place? Yeah, I saw the shots you sent me. It's like, I saw yeah. some crazy towers there. The one thing that I really wanted to see was this one picture I saw on a blog. I think someone climbed up some kind of tower and they can see the whole thing. So you can look down and see there's like this giant pool, which I think was like cooling water. So you can see everything. So I'm hoping we can climb up that. I'm like 99% sure. Tell me, how are we gonna get there? Where oh, is it? Yeah. So we're about to go to this mining area. Okay. So it's like, it's almost gonna be like the moon, you know? It's just kind of like flat and bare and it's gonna look pretty interesting. Tell me, do, do we have a car or what? How are we going there? Yeah, so <laughs> that's the thing. Also, the car is a manual, which I'm not very good at. So uh, can you drive? I can drive, but the traffic seems pretty crazy. So my, my main concern is to get out of the city. I hope it's gonna be better after that. Yeah, I think so. All right. I'll help you out. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> stairs? Yeah. Hey, I'm Elena Hamikin. I'm 30 years old. I'm an urban explorer from Copenhagen, Denmark. I got into urban exploring after a life-changing snowboard accident that left me wondering if I would ever walk again. My parents got me a camera, and next thing you knew, I was going into all these unique abandoned places and climbing on rooftop, and next thing I knew, I ended up urban exploring. Yeah, the view is so sick up here. It was worth it. 
Love the skyline, huh? Yeah, no, that's cool. So, okay, for today, oh, yes. um, I did I did uh, find like another spot I want to do besides a telescope, and I found this airport. Which things could get complicated because it's on an active runway, so I don't know if we're gonna get in or not. I'm super stoked. How are we gonna get there? Uh, well, I have this. Uh, that's actually a good way. I want I want to show you my car. Oh. I gotta show you my car. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I like the idea of the surprise. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> So many stairs. Oh my god. So do you do you, do you know what kind of car? Do you see anything like? No. What, what, what? I'll show you. Don't worry. When I get up to the car. That's it. What? <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you know what this is? No idea, but I love the it's, color. It's a lot of 1600, and it's 33 years old. It's like a blast from the past. Then. It is a blast from the past. All right, we out of here, boys. <laughs> So we have now pretty much made it to this giant like dead zone of of where they're mining. This is like the whole mining area and it has become so much more gray and you can see all the all the dirt that is being, you know, dug up. Look at this. Look at all that. Mounds and mounds of dirt. It's huge. It really is. So there seems to be like a big big hole here. No way. Look at that. That's real. That is unreal. Oh. Whoa. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Let's get out. We need to get some shots. Look at that. What do you think of that? Dude, it's, it's so crazy because like, you can see it's like multiple layers going down. Yeah. Gradually getting deeper to the bottom pit over there. You can see these huge machines down here which would be digging them up. You can see all the tracks reaching here, the, like the tracks we oh, saw before. Yeah, yeah. It's like all the tracks reach this place. Yeah. Look, look to the right. Oh, it's awesome. Dude, you look awesome. There's these little houses up here. You can see, like, up above where they were mining. I wonder if, like, these little houses are gonna have to be, you know, taken down as well. I wonder if there's, like, people still living in those ones. Yeah, let's go see if we can uh, go up any farther. Josh with the tower driving the lot of. Really? Oh my god. Look All at right. this. That tower is crazy. What the heck, guys? Oh, Seriously, this is like something out of a movie. Gotta be careful for this one. I mean, oh, man, I don't even in the see US, this would never flow. This wouldn't work in the US. You ready? This is crazy. It looks right? like something out of like science fiction or something. It is, definitely. You can see people that's walking true, around true, in there. Yeah. Guys, that's the active one. The abandoned one. They're right on the side of each other. This is pretty rare and crazy what we're doing right now. I read online that this was built in 1970, and every hour, 2,500 people were in and out of this place nonstop. So it, it was super popular in its day. This is so sketchy. Yeah, let's just get hit in the shade and kind of like be in the shadows a bit. Yeah, I feel like we're just right out in the open. This is like... So I kind of think this whole area was like a parking lot. 
Oh, yeah, so, and then you would yeah. come drop off. Yeah. Oh, I'd be so happy if this door was open. Someone tried kicking it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you can see, like, old advertisements. Too. Yeah. Look at this, though. Oh, cool. The That's whole sign the just fell signs. off the, the, the roof. Parking free. You don't see that anymore. Yeah, public busing. It is nice. Again, honestly, walking through an abandoned airport is just pretty insane. No security stopping us yet, which is great. I'm waiting for someone to literally just yell, get out of here, or I'm waiting to get them. shot. All right, that too. <laughs> well, I mean, every, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the active terminal's right there. Maybe they're just all too busy to even care about this place. It looks like they just really just don't care about it anymore. <laughs> Yo, you're going to see this. Guys, holy crap. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the old badge plane. Look how much dirt is on that. So nice. Yeah, but just can you, I just look at all the dust. So we're gonna try another door right now. Looks like a casino door almost. This looks like it's trying to keep someone out. Oh man, yeah. it's just like they it's straight it. up welded. Yep. But the design is really nice. A for effort. Oh man. This is some solid. Yeah, this is nice. We ain't getting inside here. Looking through another door. See, and this is why I want to go in, but it's all blocked off. Look, there's an old microwave right there in a desk. If there was only a way inside here, we would be able to go upstairs into all the terminals, but every single door is blocked. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got the shot. All right, perfect. Let's get out of here before we literally end up in jail. We are pushing our luck here. the driving here. I'm learning as I go here. It's, it's pretty difficult for me. Yeah, the roads are rough, but there's no traffic, so the pros and cons. Well, seriously, must be around so many other telescopes. Look at those buildings. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, know. look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Come on, we can do this. Oh, we got it, we got it. Oh. All right, we're good, we're good. It seriously looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, that, it was look so that fun. Out there. Yeah, we should definitely get to the hotel now. Yeah, the weather looks cool. Yeah, we need a full day for tomorrow. So get some good rest now, and tomorrow, begins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by now that there are no people here. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a town of dogs now. Yeah, Just stray dogs. So too. Some of the houses still look like pretty nice, you know. It's just without windows and doors. Mm -hmm. I bet they're probably gonna take them all down just to expand, you know. Yeah. Yeah, in the next couple uh, couple years, they're probably this probably the whole place is gonna be gone. Yeah. We're in an abandoned town right now. This is a, a whole village that's been yeah. abandoned. I've never seen anything like this, like a whole village just for ourselves. <laughs> look at these stairs. They do not look, they don't look very sturdy. Yeah. It's pretty empty here. Yeah, it kind of seems like a empty shell of a house. Yeah. 
sometimes you find like a house with loads of stuff in it. But oh, there's some CDs and there's a jacket here. I saw that. Like Greek style. Greek style. <laughs> I'm gonna try that on. Oh, it's, it's like stiff. it's covered in. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's totally dried up. It's like stiff. Yeah, it's covered in. You could have put it on dust if you wanted to. Yeah. Is that a church or something like that? Oh yeah, it's like a chapel. I wonder if this is gonna be like the last thing to be taken down, you know? Yeah, it could be. It's like the biggest building yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's a proper vi village, I mean, they have a chapel Yeah, I think this is, a, this is like a painting of the village and what it once looked like. Yeah, because the chapel right there, you see the chapel right there? Yeah. It's right where we stand at the moment, so. Wow. Here they come. Oh, I hear it. Hello, Cody. <laughs> Elvis. It's great. It looks like it goes up pretty high. Yeah, it does. Well, we came all that way in the middle of nowhere in Greece in an abandoned village, so we gotta go up there. Oh, man, yeah. Just be careful. Are you afraid of heights? <laughs> you know, actually I am, but, but I like facing my fears, so it's like, <laughs> it gets me excited to be standing on a ledge like this, you know, just looking down. This is the tallest tower. I think this is probably the tallest uh, spot in this village. What do we say, uh, go get a place to stay and we'll head out to the factory tomorrow? Yeah, I agree. I think we've seen enough for today. Yeah, I think uh, there's no point in going there right now. It got too dark. Yeah, sound good? Nice. I woke up to five o'clock in the morning, thunder and lightning. Did you? Yeah, I saw it, it was all night. I, hopefully it clears up, I mean, look at that. Well, it's clearing up over here, but over here it does look bad. Um, I'm hoping we have a good day, man, with the weather, because we're gonna be outside a lot, too. Let's do this! <laughs> I'm really surprised about these landscapes. The, the mountains are beautiful, the grass is pretty g green. I mean, it's nice here, huh? I mean, this is my first time here in Armenia, and I did not expect this coming here. You know why there's uh, so many of these observatories all around? I want to know. <laughs> yeah, why are they? When you're stargazing and all that, you don't want any interference from, I'm gonna say, all of our cell phones, lights. So this place actually is just so far away from any interference that it really became just a total satellite state. No way. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, we really are secluded. We must be on the right path, huh? Now we're coming up to it for sure, soon. The big shebang. Park it right here. I'm gonna park it Oh, right I have here. like the whole optical part of the antenna just like oh, no. right behind you. <sighs> oh, this looks sick. All right. We gotta get up here. <laughs> Holy. Jeez. <laughs> this is way cooler in person than the pictures. What we're looking at right now is a radio optic telescope that was built between 1975 and 1985. I actually read that there's like 3,875 or something tiles in this. Good memory. It was definitely over 3,700 tiles. This thing is so wide. It's actually 54 meters. That's why it's the ROT 54 2.6. 
I really think this is the last, if not the only, abandoned Soviet telescope building left. Probably the only one. And this is super rare for us to even be here right now. No one really comes here. You can't even fit the whole thing in the I know, frame. I know, I even with wide my lens. wide lens, I can't even make it out. The place is really unreal, though, huh? Right? Actually, do you know what that is over there? No. It's actually an old school solar panel that was never built. Well, let's go to the solar panel. Whoa, oh, there it is. Yeah, see that. Oh, look at those towers. They're huge. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's like a, it's a massive compound. You can tell it's like abandoned because like there's all these like, almost like scaffolding and like t it's being taken apart. Yeah, oh. see that? Dude, I'm so excited we're finally here. I read on, on the read online though that there's like a, there's a gate so there should be like an opening in the back. Someone okay. cut like a hole. I think it's, yeah, it's a little further up because I'm pretty sure it's pretty visible. Yep. So. Yeah, I guess just keep following following this uh, the fence line. Yep. But yeah, it, we should be close because I know it's on like the far side. That's right. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah. See, giant, the fence is already. It's not even a hole. It's like yeah, the fence is that. torn yeah, down. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Oh man, this is cool. Where should we start though? Oh, look at that. You see right there? Yeah, I can see. It. Wow, this is massive. It's gonna take us a long time to explore this. So we finally made it to the abandoned nitrogen factory here in Tola Maida. It was actually built in 1963 and it's been abandoned ever since 1997. Now this place is massive, so it's gonna be a lot of fun to explore. Looks like the power room. Ooh. Look at this place. Guys, check this out. So we're walking through this like power plant. This seems to be where all the electricity is. But look at the powder on the ground. Do that again. Oh. <laughs> so there's not much of it. Just it's crazy. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> now your shoes are done. Oh, maybe this would be a, maybe this would be a good picture. It would. Yeah, just keep it standing out. Slow shutter. Whoa! Now this this is a control room. This looks like where the the boss would sit. It could have been. This is crazy. You'd be the boss right now. Whoa. Put your feet up on the desk as bosses do. Yeah, this is the boss. Okay, we got it. We got it? Yeah, we got it. It looks like there might be a date here. It says 1981 on this paper. 1981? Yeah. than it looked, huh? Yeah, but look at this. This is what we can see behind us. We're we'll probably about to hit up all these buildings we're after. Yeah, we have to. Just think about it. This thing was finished. We wouldn't be able to see through this. This is just the shell. Actually, you should climb that after this. I, I've already been looking at that. <laughs> yeah, there. I already said Are you like going to come with me this time? Uh, no. No? I'm not coming up there. Oh, man. <laughs> this one's rooftop or heaven right here. <laughs> Careful where you step. I heard these there's snakes here and they can be some of the deadliest in the world. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, so be careful. Yeah. Yeah, well, 
You're gonna go way up there and tell me what you can see. I hope that this can hold me. You don't wanna come? No, I'm gonna wait right here. But take the vlog cam. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So check out how sketchy this is. Oh, man, this is... Hmm? This is probably one of the sketchiest things I've ever climbed. Keep going! It's so sketchy with these, like, just giant holes. I feel like my feet are too small for this. I like exploring with rooftoppers because they're really like daredevils. They like to, they know their limits. For me, I like to do tunnels and like man-made buildings because, well, I don't know, it's not as risky and I'm just scared of heights. That's pretty much why in the end. So you guys gotta see this. It's just like, like missing bars. I mean, this one's all bent on the view of the telescope from up here, so nice. You're mental! I like it. And you gotta check out these panels. Look at those. I wonder if I can make it just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, cool. There's like really neat equipment up here, Josh. Just look at how sketchy this is, what I'm stepping on right now. place wasn't ever finished, huh? Yeah, did you, did you know why it's not finished? No, I had no idea. So this is actually a really crazy story. What happened was um, this thing actually would have been finished and this would have probably been still giving power to the whole town around us. Problem is, there was another guy in England who apparently had the idea first, so he sued the guy who was trying to make this solar panel. In the end, he still won. The owner of this one still won, but by then there was no more investors because it took so long, the investors just skedaddled, they just all left. Oh, so that's why this was never finished. All right, well, I think we should just get out of here. Yeah, There's so much more buildings we have to do, and I found a road over here that's so simple. Less, oh, nice. Yeah. You know what I'm starting to like more? The valleys and the actual spot, man. This is just, this is top notch. The view is just insane, huh? Yeah, we should check in here. Yeah, let's see if we can see inside here. Okay. Mm, door's locked. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> we ain't going in that one either. All right, so the top we can't go in. All the doors are locked. But the bottom. Oh my God! Yo, check this. <laughs> There's a cow right here. <laughs> oh man. He's in front of the door. I wonder if he's scared of us or if he's scared. I think he's I'm more scared, scared of the cow. He's the guard. This is crazy. I can't go inside this abandoned building because right now there is a cow blocking us. Maybe you think he's gonna kick us? Let's move past him. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Oh. Oh, he's moving. he's moving. Yay! Be free, cow! Do you think he came from in here? <laughs> I don't know. That was awesome. All right, we're in. Look at that. Those Whoa. are the tiles for the solar panels. Oh, man, there's just some big thing. cow poop on the ground. Dude, I, feel, I, yeah, I really feel like the cow came up from around here or they lived in here. All right, you know what? Let's take it downstairs. You are the down man. Underground, let's do this. What, what is this? That's what I'm saying, what is this? Oh man. I've never seen anything like this. exactly what this room is. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. So they would test the radars in here. This, this whole room is actually meant to deprive any light or sound from entering or interfering with their testing. Yeah, so all this material around us is actually radiation absorbing material. I'm getting like the craziest like Vibes in here, like my head's getting heavy. I can hear my heart beating. Like, I don't know. 
I'm gonna, it's a, I can't explain it, but it's a really weird vibe in here. Like, everything's really super quiet. I don't know, if you guys are here, you'd understand. It's, it's insane. We should get out of this room. Like, it's starting to get to my head. <laughs> There's a way out, let's get out of here. Let's do this. Oh, yo. I think this is, uh, this is one of those bunkers. Bunkers? Yeah, I was reading on that blog that they could turn this whole factory into an ammunition producing warehouse in 24 hours. And they also have these hours, bunkers wow. underground. It just goes deep underground in case, you know. Yeah, it seems pretty dark. I bet we couldn't see anything down there. No. But that's pretty crazy. Just in the flip of a switch. Wonder where they lead to. I don't think they ever got to use them, so I don't know. Yeah. Stairs are weird. Gotta be careful. Whoa, look at that. Dude, this is insane. Look at the ceiling. Yeah. But look at the wall. I mean, it seems to me like that we keep finding these control rooms. And I it's know. Like, that must be the main control room. But I feel like this is the main control <laughs> yeah, room. Yeah, now I feel like this is the one. But this is interesting. Look at this. All these numbers. I wonder what it all means. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, shine the light on the wall a bit. Yeah, that's cool. Papers. This one looks cool. This is like the uh, like the medical room or the nurse's office. The, the nurse's <laughs> office. <yeah. laughs> Get up to one of these. Wish I'm I could, up. though. But that would be amazing. Let's start from here. Cool. I'm excited, though. <laughs> yeah, you can almost feel it falling apart. Whoa. Hey, look at the pool. Yeah, there's water in there. Hey, yo, this Could that is, be the place? Yo, I think this is the spot, exactly where the photo was taken. Yep. And you can see the, the water in the pool. This is insane. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, That's the shot. Wow. Got the shot. This is the one we were looking for. Yeah. You think it could get in? It looks sketchy, but maybe. It doesn't look safe at all, but <laughs> I just can't resist it. You can at it. least peek in. Oh, it's literally falling apart. <laughs> this looks, <laughs> this is super sketchy, but it looks cool in there. Yeah, I can't resist. It seems sketchy. Is it open? Oh. Yeah, it is. That doesn't seem safe at all. Whoa. connected to that telescope, which means control room. Okay. We're good. Nice. We can go up there or down 
I'm just gonna go up here. I'm following the carpet. Oh, you really wanna go up right now? There's yeah. just rooms everywhere. Come on, this is why I wanna go up. Look. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Damn. This is crazy right here. This is the shot. This is. Look at that. That's the, the, the world. And there's times for every part of the world all over here. This is just crazy. Yo, did you see this? Check this. Oh, man, there's more. We're on another level here. This might this be one is... of the best spots I've ever seen. The satellite. The mountains up there, the whole place. Feels like magical in here. Guys, this is a room I have never seen in my entire life. This whole episode we've been shooting, the, I've been doing things I have never done before, and I've done so much and I've seen so much, so this is completely on another level than what I'm used to. This is really a rare gem. Do you know what this is? I know what this is. So this is the data sheet. It's like a chart, right? As if like your heartbeat's being measured. So this is like um, when the telescope is being used and moved around here, they're aiming at like either a star or a planet and that it signifies this, maybe like a radiation measure. So this could be the moon, could be the star they're measuring. And it's cool because this is someone's personal research just left here and it used to come out of that printer. All right, Lena, we're Amazing. gonna find a way, hopefully, into the telescope. Down the dark tunnel we go. Man, it's dark. I got the light. <laughs> yeah, I got the light too. Bunch of crates. Oh, look at that. It's one of these uh, phones with no dials, no nothing. So it's like a private line. Check this room out. Those more old computers. Oh, yeah. And this is the data reel. Oh, yeah. This oh, is all the, yeah. this is all the information. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. <laughs> So, I mean, we're on the last floor right now. Hopefully, we can find it. Look at all their research. Everything's just left. Just collected with dust now. All right, I mean, this is the last floor. If we're gonna find any way inside that telescope, it's gonna be here. This is like the presentation room. This is the meeting room. That's so cool, huh? This is better. Okay. Let's go. The satellite or the radio telescope is right there. We're so close to it. I hope this path is the right one. It's, I know, it's a gamble. Oh gosh, I think we might be in luck, like always. Oh yeah, and the path just ends here, so this... it has to be for something, right? I got, I got my light. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need it. Oh man, it doesn't even. You first. You it have the doesn't light. even uh, do it justice. Yeah. Look at that. It's like Yo, a yeah, helmet with workers. a bird's nest. Oh in yeah, it. they turned the birds took over the head. Alright. Watch your head. It's like super oh, yeah, low. I feel like I'm in a submarine. <sighs> I hope this holds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. We totally did it. We totally did this. Look at this. is the inside. We're in the inside of the actual telescope. I'm going to be using this. We did it. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, my god. Oh, man. I'm kind of sketchy. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Don't fall. Can you slide? Oh, man. Probably. Let's go. Let's go. We're sliding. Go. Go. It's oh. pretty slippery. Oh, man. When are we ever going to do this again? I can't believe We're they not. made it down here. We're the only yes. ones here. The echo. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> this is, this is too cool. Guys. Oh, man. First and only time, you're going to see this environment right now. Do you hear the echo? As you get more in the middle, you're just hearing my voice. This is we are epic. under the telescope right now. Dude, run up. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Come on. Oh, man. You feel the... Keep going. <laughs> 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 no, they're sliding. OK. 
Yeah. I can do it. That's awesome in here. We're having way too much fun. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like the clouds are coming in, and before it gets dark, I think it's the perfect time to do our ranking. Yeah. Let's sit over here. Okay, so... I, I still can't believe we're sitting here right now. <laughs> I know. Can you hold this really quick? Yeah. Thank you. So on the show, we have a ranking system based on history, beauty, purity, and thrill. And it's one out of five. All right, so I'm actually really curious to hear your rating, because I think mine's pretty good. First one being history. This is the last, if not the only, abandoned Soviet telescope building left. We are sitting in a piece of history. I mean, this made scientific discoveries that we never knew were possible before. I know. And to be in a solar panel that wasn't that wasn't finished, but still, the technology was so ahead of its time. For real. I have to give it a five. Yo, no, same. All right, cool, we're on the same page here. All right, next one, beauty. It feels like magical in here. First off, the mural we seen inside the control room was insane. Outside being here, it, I mean, it was like we're in like some crazy movie, the jungle. I mean, we had the best views ever, the mountain cliffs, the valleys. I ought to give it a five. You? 100% of five. Okay, so we're all right, good. Still on the same page here. Okay, next one is purity. I've never seen anything like this. Like the RF chamber, that was kind of all falling apart. But I mean, also at the same time, we're sitting in this and it's- It's oh, so God. tough because other rooms were so great. Like the control room, was, it was almost like it was a, just a time capsule I waiting. Four. Okay, I I don't know, I'm stunned between a four and a five. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you take four. it. Four, because it can't be a five. It, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't Fives perfect. Are perfect. So, You're right. Yeah, four. And last but not least, thrill. I can't go inside this abandoned building because right now there is a cow blocking us. I climbed up a tower in the middle of an old right. solar cell. I, I think I might give it a good one. I, I might have to go with a five on a throw. I don't know about you. You, you didn't get to so, go up in that tower. Well, there's more to it. Yeah. So I want to give it a three. I'll, all right, we can work this out. Four. Okay. Okay. I'll agree with that. All right, that is good. Well, if we tally up the five, the five, the four, the four, we got a total number of an 18, which is really good and perfect score on our Urbex bucket list. Alina, thank you so much for joining me on this trip. It has been an amazing trip, and I think our luck has actually finally run out. The rain is really about to hit us. I think it's time we get out of here. Yeah, thanks for letting me tag along. No, it's been great. All we need is one thunderbolt on us, and we are toasted. Oh, I know. I think I heard the lightning, actually. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> on this really sketchy wood. What is that? What, what, what's the reason behind all these layers of wood? Do you know that? It was like filtering like water or something down. Okay, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, the water would drain down. Because most of it looks like rotten, you know? Dude, let's, let's walk into the middle and see how, uh, how far we can get. Because yeah. this would be a great picture. The picture is going to be great, but I don't think we can go too far because you, you see that? Oh, Everything yeah, up from here, is, it's just rotten. Doesn't look safe at all, but I'm gonna try. We need the shot, so we'll get down here. That'd be all right. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Do you want to take the vlog camera? Yeah, cool. You're gonna get down? Yeah. You can film it. Yeah, I'll film. All right. Yeah. Just be careful there, man. I can already hear it cracking, but... Yeah. Yeah, you're good, man. Ooh. We've done this before. <laughs> yeah. Check this it out. This is insane. Check that out. Guys, we are in the middle of this giant dome. This is gonna be an insane picture. Look up, yeah, that's great. That, just like that. These are incredible, man. get to the very top of this, I think we can see everything. Just need to find the entrance. Ooh. This 
right here. Well, here we go. It's a spiral. <laughs> the door is busted down. Yep. Someone's been here well, before. If you gotta get in, you gotta get in. Yeah. Yep. It's just going up and up. And up. So I think we have just a few more flights. And then we're there. Finally. All I want to do is see the top of this. Guys, this is insane. Oh, look at this view. Whew. You got it, man? That's great, man. Oh, look at, look at the snow. Look at yeah, the snow-capped yeah. mountains everywhere. We are so high up, it's scary. I just have to. Cool. And we came like from all the way back there, yeah? Yeah. Like, like, like back there is where the entrance was, like behind all these buildings, yeah? So we've been walking around. We've been walking around this Quite whole place today. Quite a hike. So I think this is as good a place as any to rank this. So the first one is uh, history. Okay. So the history of this location, what do you think about it? Out of five, like how awesome is the history? It looks like there might be a date here. It says 1981 on the saber. This is like a painting of the village and what it once looked like. The area, I mean. How yeah, the, the village. villages and stuff and all that stuff. I would, I would give it a four. You give it a four? I would give it a four. Yeah. I'd say I'd give it a, I mean, I'd give it a four as well, because like it's kind of like the history of the village, like not just this place, but the yeah. surrounding village. It just had an effect on me, you know. I agree. So, beauty. It's not the most beautiful because it's kind of like industrial and rustic, yeah. but it is kind of nice in its own way. But for beauty, I'd say, I'd probably give it a three for beauty. Yeah, I would go for two if you consider that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's industrial. Yeah, it's in, like, in its own form, you know, it's, it's, it's a good form, one. It's okay, but it's, yeah, it's kind of like rustic and... So you say two? I would give it a two. I'll give it a three, so we'll do, we'll do 2.5. We'll meet in the middle. And we'll do purity next. Look all these papers. I didn't see any graffiti. Yeah. Um, it was just kind of really run down but it seems like not a lot of people have been here. Absolutely agree, because we see so much stuff that was just laying around yeah. and it hasn't been taken away. So the purity, uh, I would say like a like a four. That's four. four. I'd say a three, so maybe we'll give it a 3.5. Yeah, it would be. And the last one is the thrill. We are really high up on this really sketchy wood. It's just going up and up. Climbing this tower was pretty thrilling for me and like coming all the way from Thessaloniki, driving through the hills and seeing like the village and all that. I'd give it, I'd give it a four for a thrill. You know what? I would have to agree because I, I only give things five if I can like jump off of stuff and you know, climb right, even right. higher, but that was pretty thrilling for me because anything could collapse at any moment. Exactly. So I would, I would go for a four too. Four? All right. Yeah. So, four, there we go. So that means our total is 14 out of 20. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Elvis, I appreciate you coming out, man. This was a fun adventure. Anytime, Cody. Thanks for uh, joining me. Let's just do this right here and uh, head out. Bye, behind you. Yeah.